Hi everyone, if you've been wondering what is the difference between the law of attraction and the law of vibration, then stay tuned because I'm gonna clear this all up for you and make it super, super simple and easy to understand and use for manifesting whatever it is in your life that you most desire. For the best advice on manifesting your soulmate, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell so you get notified every single week when I upload a new video on Thursday. Hi everyone, I'm Diana Palm, your love attraction specialist, and I've already helped thousands of individuals to increase their love vibration and manifest their highest potential soulmate. Today we're gonna to talk about the difference between the law of attraction and the law of vibration. If you've been trying to manifest better things in your life, whether that's better finances, a more compatible lover, a different up-leveled life, then you probably have already heard about the law of vibration and you may be a little bit confused, like what is the difference? How is the law of attraction different than the law of vibration? I'm gonna make this so simple and easy for you to understand. Now, when it comes to the law of attraction, most of us got our background on that from The Secret, but philosophers have been talking about the concepts of the law of attraction forever. And the reason is because it's a real universal law. There are actually laws of the universe, such as the law of magnetics, the law of attraction, the law of time. There are many, many, many laws that govern our universe. Now, when it comes to the law of attraction, it states that whatever you're focusing on through your own thoughts and feelings that you can attract to you, that you can bring into your life like a magnet. Now, where the law of vibration differs from that is that you actually become the vibration of what you're seeking and it's even that much faster. It actually activates the law of attraction to work for you in a much more efficient manner, nearly immediate. Now, many of my clients are actually looking for love. They want to manifest their soulmate. They want their ideal partner and their most compatible relationship. In the law of attraction, it would say, to you know, write down a picture, write down the characteristics of the lover that you wanna bring in. Think about the relationship that you want to experience. Imagine that you have that person in your life and continue to think about it, give gratitude for it, and try to manifest that energy into your life by being crystal clear about what it is you want. Now, with the added energy of the law of vibration, the main difference is this, instead of it's happening in the future and you're bringing it into you, you're attracting it into you, you are becoming it. What that may look like if you're looking for love is, are you thinking in your head, when I get my lover, we will be going and doing these things together and you're putting yourself on hold. Whether that's up leveling where you live, your daily activities, where you go for dinner. I mean, many singles are afraid to go to dinner alone and they're thinking, well, once I have my mate, then I will enjoy these beautiful romantic dinners and beautiful serene settings. Well, those are areas of your life that you should not put on hold. If you are actually activating the law of attraction through the law of vibration, that means be it now. That means make that dinner reservation. That means go to those places and have a dinner and really be in the energy of what it is that you will experience when you have your partner. That means if you're looking to up-level your life, go ahead, do it now. Don't wait for some magical person to come into your life first in order for you to have it. Live in the vibration of what it is you most desire. That is what actually brings everything to you very, very quickly. So in the simplest terms, the law of attraction is looking at something, trying to rearrange your subconscious thoughts and patterning around it, trying to be in the feeling of it, the thought forms of it, so that you can bring it into your life. Where the law of vibration states that if you be it, it will be with you, whatever it is. So it will be with you, not attracted in. Even though, of course, we are gonna attract it in, there's no time like the present. Start living exactly what it is you want right now. 
And if this brings up some blocks for you and you're like, well, Diana, I can't do that. I don't have the money. I don't have the place to live. I don't have the wardrobe. Well, then that's wonderful because now you've discovered that you have blocks around it that have been preventing you from being this new person, this new you. You have discovered your own blocks and we can heal those subconscious blocks in a private session. So if you are ready to set up a private session with me to clear whatever blocks are preventing you from enjoying the life of your dreams, be sure to set that up with me at www.dianapalm.com. I also offer Manifest Your Dreams Masterclass, which will actually guide you through the process of manifesting. And it includes a 20 minute subconscious reprogramming that is an activated healing on video that will help you eliminate the most common blocks to whatever it is you're manifesting. Be sure to check that out down in the links below this video. Give me a heart below if you are ready to manifest your heart's desire and let me know what it is you most want to attract or be in your life right now. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. I can't wait to see you manifest your wildest dreams.